what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army. Y'all heard the news about the Air Jordan 1 loss and founds. If you guys haven't heard that news, make sure y'all go back a couple days. Make sure y'all go check out that video. We already had the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott drop. I know. I know how everybody feel. Army, again, it is what it is. Thing is, when it comes to like them Travis Scotts and stuff, man, like those joints don't restock. You know what I'm saying? Those don't restock. Again, if you want the lost and found, you still want a retail pair, make sure y'all check out my video that I posted a few days ago. Now, Army, if you took L's on Travis Scott's, but you did get your dub on lost and founds, you got some more bread left over, you got the shoes, you got the fits, peep this right quick. Make sure y'all run over there to Shop GLD, who is licensed, officially licensed, at NBA, MLB, NFL, Marvel, and they also have some NCAA pendants for you guys as well. And Arm, y'all know I wouldn't be bringing this to y'all if I wasn't trying to save y'all some bread. If you click my link in the description section below and use promo code UNBREAKABLE, you will get 33% off all Shop GLD items from gold chains, from pendants, from earrings, to necklaces, to whatever they have on their army, you get in that 33% off your entire order. Now, what I love about Shop GLD D Army, and of course your boy is rocking some shop GLD right now, is the fact that they have items in high price ranges. You can get a $3,000 chain, $2,000 solid gold chain, or if you want to be a little bit more reserved, they have gold plated items. You get silver, you get sterling silver, white gold army. They have everything that you are looking for, a one-stop shop for all of your jewelry and accessory needs. So again, click that link in the description section below. Use promo code UNBREAKABLE to get that 33% off. And your favorite athlete and rappers are rocking shop GLD jewelry as well, Army. So click that link and like always, make sure you thank me later. So as always, Army, I got all of the links in the description section below. But I got to give a huge shout out to my big bro, Jay the Sneaker Guy, man. Shout out to Jay. Every time I mention Jay the Sneaker Guy, I can never just say, shout out to Jay the Sneaker Guy and get right to the shoe. Because I feel like a lot of people don't understand how cool, how down to earth, how real this dude is, man. So, Army, if y'all not following him, make sure y'all go over and check out my bro, Jay the Sneaker Guy. And he also let me review these joints for you guys right here, Army. We got the Women's Air Jordan 3 Retro. Colorway is white. Varsity red, lucky green. This is a size 10 and a half in women, which is a size 9 in men, which is my boy Jay the Sneaker Guy's personal pair. As we see, um, we got the white Jordan box. I'm surprised they didn't give us like a Jordan 3 box like they did with the gray school with the reimagines. But I want to say with the late, I can't remember what the laser orange, what box did they give us if they gave us this box, but most of the women's exclusive come in a white box anyway with the gold Jumpman. We got the white paper gold 23s, and Armin, this is my first time even checking these joints out. And we got the Air Jordan 3 Lucky Grains. Now, these not bad. These 125% give me Air Jordan 3 laser orange vibes. Basically the same shoe. Elephant print, you got the cement print. Now, the laser orange had that laser orange instead of lucky green. And these are cool. Now, I talked to Big Bro Fine Line about this shoe because he was, I don't want to say he was hyping these up because it's very, very rare for Fine Line to hype up a shoe. But he just felt like these right here was going to be a banger. And when we talked about these the other day, he was like, bro, these would have been a banger. Had they not dropped the Air Jordan 4 SB Pine Greens. He said once they dropped those, it just killed all the hype and all the vibes on these. And I don't think that's the case. I just think that we just get in way too much green at one time. When have we gotten this much green on the Air Jordan back to back to back? Basically, we didn't get the Air Jordan 1 Lucky Greens. We didn't get the Air Jordan 4 SB Pine Greens. Then we get the Air Jordan 3 Lucky Greens. It's too much. Like, most people don't wear green on a day-to-day -day basis anyway. So it's just like, if you got one or two green shoes, how many do you really need? Now, granted, this is a Retro 3. 
Big Size is going to do what it do. I always say that. Big Size is going to do what it do. But as far as, like, women really rocking these and, and Army, I don't really see a lot of women rocking retro threes, though. Like, I see them rocking fours. I see them rocking ones. I see them rocking, like, fives, twelves, things like that. But retro threes, I don't see a lot of them. So for this to be a women's exclusive, I don't think that these going to do that hot. Just off the strength that it's a women's exclusive shoe. Most of the sizes are women. They're not going to the extended sizes. So I feel like most guys who like 11 and up, they probably would have copped these. But Jordan Brand ain't even giving them the opportunity to cop them. So big sizes like that, 10 and men and up probably going to move. Nine and a half of men going to move. But I can see those smaller sizes easily being available if you really want to shoot. Now, I honestly think that Jordan Brand should have just hit us with a white midsole, especially if the Boston Celtics make it as far as I think that they may make it in the NBA playoffs. These green shoes are definitely going to not go up, but more people are going to try to grab them, of course, to match their jersey. So I've said that even with the Lucky Green ones, and it's crazy to say that a particular sneaker value over time depends on how well an NBA team does it. Now, these ain't called the Air Jordan 1 Boston Celtics or the Air Jordan 3 Boston Celtics, but we know the significance of a lucky green and a pine green on the Air Jordan. Like, we know that those colors represent the Boston Celtics. We know court purple represents the LA Lakers. Like, two of Jordan's biggest rival teams. So, we already know what time it is, man. And, hey, both of those teams... Might make it far in the playoffs, Army. So, hey, heads up for y'all who are some Laker fans and Boston Celtics fans. Y'all may potentially see each other in the finals. Who knows? But, Army, y'all let me know how y'all feel about these joints right here, man. Do y'all think that these are going to be a big move? Or do you think this is a shoe that we got to wait and see? Now, if it was up to me as far as copping... I'll let y'all know that army once we get off the turntable. So I'm about to go ahead, jump in front of the turntable, give you guys an up close personal look at the Air Jordan 3 Lucky Green. Then we can jump back in front of the camera to end the video off. All right, army, got the box on the turntable again. White Air Jordan box. Gold jump, man. Synonymous with the women's exclusive releases. We got the women's Air Jordan 3 Retro. Co is white, varsity red, lucky green. Size 10 and a half women, which is a 9 Y in girls or a 9 in men. Again, shout out to Big Bro J, the sneaker guy. Flip the lid. You got your white paper with the 23s on it. See, Mac and the joints on a turntable army. From the looks of it, man, leather is good on them. Like, quality not bad on these joints. It honestly should have just been a regular release, men and gray school. I don't know why Jordan Brand just decided to get, make this a women's exclusive. They didn't make the men Lucky Greens a women's exclusive, but they did make the Jordan 1, what was those, were those called Lucky Greens last year or a few years ago? It kind of looked like the Heineken joints that had the hits of red and green, but those were a women's exclusive, so maybe they're going off that fact. But we got the hits of Varsity Red down here on the Jordan, hits of your Lucky Green, your Cement Gray. Got the sale on the midsole. Lucky Green back there as well. Nice elephant print. Elephant print on these joints look good. You don't see a lot of defects like the Air Jordan 3 reimagines. All white upper. Lucky Green hits. You got like a metallic silver jump man back here on the back. Overall, not a bad shoe, man. Lucky Green Jordan hang tag as well. You got your varsity red jump mans right here on the tongue as well. White sock liner. Y'all know how I feel about white sock liners. I'm going to go ahead and talk about that in a second. Again, Army, these are giving me laser orange vibes. I could have deal without the sale miso. Like, every shoe don't have to have, like, that vintage look to it, bro. It could just be a white upper with a white miso. Like, I just feel like Jordan Brand is just overdoing it, bro. Overdoing it with the sale, man. All white would have been perfectly fine. White laces. Lucky green hits right here on the eyelets at the top of the shoe as well. And again, I feel like Jordan Brand should have made this a regular release because you will have those men who want a size 13 in these, who want a size 14. Like, if Jordan Brand is going to do women's exclusive, I feel like they shouldn't be selective on which ones go to extended sizes. Like, for instance, Travis Scott's went up to a 14 in women. For instance, Travis Scott's went up to a size 14 in men. These should have went up to, like, a 14 in men. Like, y'all... 
I don't want to say losing money. If you're losing money not making these joints go to extended sizes, I guarantee you they would have sold more extended sizes than they will in like the smaller sizes on these joints, man. So I don't know. Maybe that's something Jordan brand going to eventually stop doing. Or if they are going to do women's exclusive, they're going to keep it across the board where all of the shoes go up to extended sizes. But Army, since you got the all white upper on these, of course y'all already know, man. Grab that rejuvenated water and stain repellent. Spray these joints at least six to eight inches apart. Let it sit for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Y'all know the rejuvenated water and stain repellent protects the shoes from any water, dirt, mud, sludge. Anything from damaging the sneaker is going to roll off and drip off of the shoe. Now, I always spray the sock liner as well, Jay. I got you set for this, bro. I spray the sock liner so when you're wearing socks, man, or if you ain't wearing socks, boy, you know, you ain't going to leave them nasty dirt rings right around, you know, the sock liner of your shoe. So make sure if you are using the rejuvenated water and stain repellent, you are spraying the entire shoe. Now, Army, I do got my link to rejuvenator in the description section below. Give you guys that 10% off all rejuvenator product. Of course, make sure you grab in the rejuvenator water and stain repellent, rejuvenator sneaker cleaning solution. And for sneakers like this army, I say grab the rejuvenator wipes just in case, you know, somebody do accidentally step on them or something like that. You grab a wipe, take it out your wallet, take it out the glove compartment of your car, wipe them down, clean them down, and you good to go. So make sure y'all taking advantage of that arm. Again, Rejuvenator link is in the description section below to give you guys that 10% off at checkout. I'm going to go ahead and get these joints one more quick 360. Then we can jump back in front of the camera to end the video off. Army, now that you guys have seen the Air Jordan 3 Lucky Greens, how do you feel about them? Before I get to how y'all feel about them, I'm cool on them. I'm cool on them, and, and I just feel like it's so good to say I'm cool on them still. Like, y'all know I've been selective for like the last two years, man, but for me to continue to be selective and for me to continue to not just do a review on a shoe and just throw it in the vault army, it just shows my growth because I'm telling y'all, back then, if I reviewed it, it was staying in the vault. Like, as far as this year goes alone, I kept the SBs. I do got a pair of those. I got the Playoff 13s. What else dropped this year, man? It, it's not too much that dropped this year that I really kept. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, I feel like 2024 is going to be a better year than 2023. I kept the my years. I got those. I'm just looking at some of the shoes that I still got over here in boxes. The Reimagined 3s. Like, it ain't been too much that has dropped. Now, granted, we still in April. Well, granted, the end of April... May got one or two shoes, like the Spider-Mans and the Thunders that I'm trying to grab. But like I've said before, like, I ain't really picking up a lot of stuff to, like, fall time, back to school, when they, like, really, really dropping some bangers for us, man. But, again, y'all let me know how y'all feel about these. It's still a clean shoe, but to me, it's an unnecessary shoe, especially as far as the vault goes. So, let me know how y'all feel about them in the comment section below. Army, I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. And other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable Vault. Unbreakable Army stands strong like always. Most importantly, hug your loved ones. And of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit Unbreakable for the uses. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's always tough, but he get amusing. He always old him first season. The most beefy, looking like two laughs. Two laughs, cause your ass taking nails.